and welcome to Carry Beat. I'm Cheryl Clement. New York native Andy Narrell was introduced to the steel pan at age seven when his father, a social worker, started steel bands on the Lower East Side of Manhattan as a community center activity. Through the years, in his quest to master the steel pan, he has developed close personal ties to the people and culture of Trinidad and Tobago. Andy has become somewhat of an emissary, educating people about the origins of the steel pan while he perfects his unique musical style, which is distinctively jazz. He's one of the all-star talents in the Caribbean Jazz Project and has six jazz releases. The latest is called Down the Road. Let's join Andy as he entertains us with this wonderful instrument. <laughs> Thank you. 
very beginning was uh, when I was about five or six years old, my brother um, started taking a piano lesson. And my mom says that I was kind of like sitting there the whole time playing on my hand, you know, so she let me take a lesson too. And I started with piano when I was a little kid, but uh, when I was about seven or eight years old, my father was working with uh, gangs on the Lower East Side of Manhattan. He was a social worker. And he was always looking for new ideas in, in community center programs. And there was a guy that wasn't working out too well at one job, and they asked him what else he knew how to do. He said, well, I know how to make steel drums and play them. So my father had seen a band play one time, and he said, this is, this is worth a try, you know. So he had to make a set of instruments and teach a, one group. And it, became a, it turned out to be a tremendous program idea. You know, the, all the kids were coming to him saying, we want to do that too. And he uh, started using steel bands as a community, as a community center program for uh, kids that were in gangs. And uh, my brother and I used to go hang out on weekends and play ball, whatever was going on. We got into it also. So I started when I was about seven or eight years old.
pretty much self-taught. You know, I've just got shown a couple things by people who could play. Um, but I studied music um, in the more conventional sense, too. I took classical and jazz piano, and then I went to, uh, through the university musical education, I went to University of California and studied composition. And, and then through pretty much the, you know, the jazz schooling, which is more out, you learn it by working on your own and out on the gigs. <laughs>
Thank you for watching Carrie Beat. I'm Cheryl Clement. See you next time. This edition of Carabeet has